Here's a look at your jobs today featured on CBS 4 News Sunrise every morning. In Brownsville, they're looking for a property assistant manager. The pay will be discussed during the interview. One year of experience in a high school diploma or GED is required. In Harlingen, line cooks are needed. The pay will be discussed at the interview. No experience or education requirement. And for more job opportunities in the Valley is Alex Wortha with Workforce Solutions in Cameron County. Welcome, Alex. Great to have you. Thank you for having me. And you, always great to have you because you always have great tips for people who are going out on interviews. And one thing that we haven't addressed yet that can be tough is recovering from a bad job interview yes. because we might not want to admit it, but it has happened, happened to us once or twice yes. in our so life. After a job interview, many of us feel like we really messed up. You know, I know the feeling. You feel like I should have said this or I could have said this. Right. Uh, but the good news is that sometimes recovery is possible. So here are some tips to help you with the situation. First of all, you can send a thank you email and you can use this as an opportunity for recovery. Right. If you didn't answer a question well, you can answer it better in your recovery, but in your thank you letter, but don't reference the mistake. Yeah, course. and like you said, the next tip is you don't want to really dwell on yes, that mistake. Don't dwell on the situation. The interview is over, so move on. You did what you could to recover, which may or may not have worked. The next step is just to put the situation behind you and be confident for your next interview. Definitely. <laughs> of course, analyze what happened. Think about what happened, what went wrong, and why it went wrong. Were you too tired, too distracted, etc.? If so, how can you improve it next time? Also, it's important to develop a strategy to handle the situation and if it ever occurs again. Right. right? Again, think about what happened. You can ask friends, you can ask, you know, even do some research on how you can improve and what you can do differently. Always be prepared. Yeah, you don't right. want to dwell on it. Like you said, mm -hmm. you want to know how you can improve and move forward so you don't fall in that same yes. situation. Mm -hmm. And of course, keep looking for a job. Don't let this incident stop your job search. Stay positive. The good thing is that we learn from our experiences. On the bright side, you'll get better at interviews, and uh, e the better you get, the easier your job search will be. And the more no's you get, the closer you are to getting a yes. So, of <laughs> course, you will definitely eventually land that job. And this could be your opportunity because there is a hiring event happening next week. Yes, LeFleur Transportation is looking for drivers, and they're having a hiring event on Tuesday, May 30th between 1 and 5 p.m. and it'll be at Workforce Solutions Cameron office in Harlingen. So remember as usual, dress to impress and bring your resume. And bring multiple resumes. Multiple, yes. You course. never know how many people are going to interview you. And the great thing is sometimes at these hiring events, some people are interviewed on the spot, mm -hmm. so you need to be prepared yes. for that. In this event, they're going to uh, make job offers on the spot. Oh, that's so don't miss better. this opportunity. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alex, for thank joining you. us. Thank you for having me.